just a runic journey update. Thinking about the Fala ancestry. In this week, this weekend in particular, I feel ahead of mine and Jade's hand fasting next week. And it brings home some thoughts to confront, I guess. Thinking about ancestry. And it's not really just about looking at the past. It's about being in the present and consideration for the future. Um, but having the rune this week in particular just heightens some I don't know, thought processes and... Uh, Gives reminders of things that you've got outstanding you might want to do. Such as a video I'll try and get done this weekend that's long overdue. Um, and, and thinking about your relationships with the people who are no longer here. The people that are in your life and the relationships you have with them and uh, future relationships really what what does the future hold to, I would be lying to myself to think that uh, or to not think rather that next weekend is big in many ways um, obviously the main focus is going to be on me and Jade, my wife. Um, it's the day we planned to have last year when we got married. Uh, but obviously COVID was um, a little bit more rampant. I uh, was in lockdown, so limited to 15 people at the registry office and now one year later for our anniversary we get to have the spiritual celebration we'd always planned to have that for us is our main day this is the big day the, the one that has the most meaning um Obviously, it's still a thing here in England that hand fasting is not recognised as a legal ceremony. But that aside, with the course of our lives, the way it, that's changed, in particular this coming weekend, it's about making our vows to each other not just in front of our family and ancestors and spirit but to the gods and that's something that's not done lightly even with the lack of legal sort of meaning to it it's it's a lot more personal and obviously there's some things going on that like any families really that's uh, are not perfect um, and it's just I don't know this next weekend is is, is almost like one of those sort of uh, moments that will define sort of more years to come in, in many ways I mean it's, it's fair to say there's I know, just that increasing intensity of stress the last week or two is it's just like oh, it's next weekend um, and we're putting things into place to hopefully have the best day we can have and make, let's say, 
writing things, speeches that get across emotion and gratitude um, and, and having sort of uh, the opportunity to be the best hosts possible and that hopefully the guests will be the best they can be. But really coming back to our father, it's just that sort of when you start having these things play on your mind a little bit, obviously it trickles into dreams and lines of thinking and stuff and, and questioning whether you have done the right thing regarding certain situations. Um, I think really, ultimately, going back to a saying like we are our deeds, you can only be true to yourself. Um, and it can hurt sometimes, sort of uh, having convictions and, and being determined to do what is right or what feels to be right. And uh, how that affects other people around you. Families can be really complex. <laughs> um, there's a lot of things I'm looking forward to. And I think really having Ophala this week is just it's like a a calming balm <laughs> in in preparation. I mean, I mean, speaking to Jade about it, it was just like, it'll be interesting to see this Wednesday what rune I draw that I'll have with me when we have the hand fasting. Um, don't get me wrong, it's always a curiosity to consider what rune you might draw next. And as I've said previously, obviously the bag is getting smaller as more and more runes are removed from it. But at this stage, just sort of look forward to next weekend and uh, hope that some hurts are healed and that not too many rifts are made impassable the father it makes you consider things and whether you stand uncompromising or sell yourself short I guess <laughs> Anyway, thoughts on Afala uh, and how the last few days have, I suppose, progressed since I drew it. If you watch this, thank you. Consider liking, subscribing. You are free to do as you please. I hope you like my content and you are enjoying this path of power. Who knows where it ends. Thank you very much. Goodbye.